a welcome to my channel I'm Andre. Today's video is a review video and it's a review on my Cartier Love Bangle. Now this bangle was purchased in March, uh, beginning of March, 7th of March my receipt says of this year and I have worn it every day since the moment I purchased it. So this bangle basically it's timeless, it's a classic and it's simple and that's what I love about it. It's simple. You know and not everybody knows the love bangle so that for me is another advantage of the love bangle. Now the main question I get asked is does the love bangle scratch? Yes it does scratch. I was told by my sales assistant Shaila Bubla and I have her information in my last video who is an amazing amazing sales assistant and she told me immediately when I bought the bangle and she gave me the best bit of advice because she said to me your bangle will scratch but just look at it as part of the bangle and that's exactly what I do all the scratches are part of the bangle doesn't matter how much you take care of it because when I first got the bangle I really took care of it to the point where I would wear a sweatband over the bangle you know it's on your wrist all the time I mean look at me my hands are moving all the time it's bound to get scratched as much as you try and take care of it it will scratch and it has I don't know if it will focus but mine has really it has plenty of scratches but as you can see the shine is still there I mean you could see the beautiful shine how it still glistens when um, even though it has scratched and there's quite a few scratches on the bangle and because it is um, you know a flat surface you know apart from the screws here it um, it does show the scratches but as you can see it doesn't take away from the beauty of the bangle so my bangle as you can see has no diamonds on it I have liked one with diamonds on it but then again you know you're talking a lot of money and it's a bangle that I love again for the simplicity of it so I have next to it you know the diamonds I have here on my tennis so that's a nice combination with the two and it's not too much because this is my everyday jewellery so it's not too much for everyday use. The bangle is 18 karat gold, it is solid gold and the other thing that I love about the bangle is it has maintained its shape because of the thickness of it, because of the quality of it. It has maintained that shape, it has not misshapen and I'll give you an example. I have quite a few um, gold bangles and when we look at something like this now this is again 18 karat gold and it has beautiful I don't know if that's going to focus has beautiful detail on that bangle as you can see all the way around but it does because it is so delicate it's not a bangle that you can wear every day but I mean look at the way it has been and this happens to quite a few of my bangles. There we go. You can see it doesn't have a lovely shape. And if I wore these every day, they would eventually break. It would eventually snap. They're not designed to be worn every day. As you can see, beautiful detail. But again, I couldn't wear something like that every day, you know, and not worry about it. Whereas with this... The only thing that's going to happen to this, it's going to get scratched. It's going to get scratched, but, you know, Cartier will clean up the bracelet, will take away the scratches. But what you have to bear in mind is that in doing so, you will remove a thin layer of gold. So they don't recommend you get it done too often. What Shyla recommended to me was... Um, the only time that I should really get the bangle polished up is if I was to buy another one and then they would look as shiny as each other and it would bring it back to looking 
you know, late first day that I bought it. If I went, took it into Cartier now, had all the scratches polished out, they would come back again. It would happen again. So basically, I don't see the point of it. I wouldn't get it done. Question, would I rebuy? Of course I would rebuy this. It's actually, you know, now opened up a whole new world for me because I'm looking at the Jean Clou and maybe, you know, I'm looking at the love ring, I'm looking at all these other things. But again, a lot of money. When I bought my love bangle, again, it, remember I got over 800 pounds off my love bangle, and but the retail price of it when I got it was um, 5,050 and 30 pence. It now retails for 5,600 pounds. And I did see in my video, my uh, was it an unboxing or a re reveal, whatever it was, I did see that there was going to be a price increase because Shyla did inform me of that at the time. So, you know, the pros, it's classic, it's timeless, it's simple. Um, for me, a pro is that you can only take it off with a screwdriver, so the likelihood of losing it is minimal because it has to be unscrewed. I, I, Shyla again recommended that I check the screws on the bracelet, you know, after a couple of weeks. I did. I've never had to um, screw them again. Here's the box that it came in and inside I should, here we go, there's all the packages. You've got the box there and that box there and the screwdriver here. And I haven't actually tightened it. You know, when I tried it after a couple of weeks, it was fine. And you can see here, Shyla recommended that I put just a bit, that's just a bit of tape over the screwdriver and that minimizes any um, scratches when you're screwing it on. So let's try and find one of these screws and let's see if it needs tightened. I would normally, no, it is tight. It hasn't moved and it hasn't uns unscrewed at all. It's, the screw is completely, completely screwed in. Let's try this one as well completely screwed in so I haven't had any problems with the screws loosening on the bangle either it's just been the perfect everyday bangle for me absolutely love it like I said I would love to add more so that's the certificate that you get kind of hard certificate that you get with the love bangle and also you get the travel pouch which looks like a so. sew and there's the pillow inside that I got with it as well and again you get the cleaning kit which I've yet to use I've just worn it and just loved wearing it and not having to worry about it honestly some may think the fact that you can't take it on and off when you want it that's a con for the bracelet that it scratches easily that's a con for the bracelet other than that I honestly oh and the price the price is a con because they're very expensive because you know at the end of the day if you walked into a jeweler's and got uh, a, the exact same bracelet but obviously it wasn't Cartier you would be paying a lot less for that amount of gold that's in this bracelet a lot less so we are paying for the name so here you go there's another con you know you're you're paying for the name but that's what i choose to do in the same way i choose to buy a chanel bag and not another bag that looks like that and is a lot cheaper you know i i like to go for the original design let's see so my bangle is a size 18 it's a size 18 and but my wrist measured at 16 and a half centimeters and you're recommended to size up at uh, between a size and two sizes i sized up a size and a half so my bangle is an 18 centimeter and like i said in my first video just as a comparison i wear a gm size in the hermes bangles um and I showed exactly how that looked as well next to the bangle. It's I don't feel it's heavy. You know, 
I, I don't know the exact weight of it. They say, you know, it could be like 28 grams, between 28 grams and 30 grams. You know, of course, again, it would vary. The weight of it would vary would vary because of the different sizes you know they start at about a 16 centimeter and go right up again i have talked about all of that in my other video and how you can get a discount so you know i wear this showering playing um you know every day exercising sleeping it has never been off basically it has been on every day and I have worn it for everything the only time I wear a sweatband on it now is when I'm at the gym another thing I'd like to add is um, I haven't actually traveled with the bangle so I don't know what it's going to be like going through customs with the bangle on I will be traveling in a few weeks so um, I'll probably post a wee story on my Instagram stories just to the effect of how if I get stopped if I get asked to get it to remove the bangle so on and so forth I think I will be taking the screwdriver with me um, just in case and the other things because I'm traveling I just you know you never know it might have to be removed for whatever reason so I will be taking the screwdriver with me but I don't know again what the effects of wearing the love bangle are going through customs so that's my review that's all I, I can really say about the bangle I absolutely love it I have been so happy with it um, I would add another one in the platinum as a pair I would love to add the Jean Clou as well but again with that I would have to make sure it would be something that I could wear every day that it is as hardy as strong as this so I can wear it every day because I have lots of beautiful jewellery that you know basically has to get put away and it's not something that you can wear every day so that's for me the biggest advantage about the love bangle that it can be worn every day and it's not going to miss shape or you know it just to me looks as lovely as it did and I love it I love it even more than the day I got it I loved it from the moment I put it on and I love it even more I would you know highly highly recommend the um love bangle i absolutely love it i have no idea if my camera is focusing because this is the first time i'm doing a sit down film with my um camera which is the the canon g7x so i have no idea if this is focusing it looks as if it's focusing so that's what it looks like up close that's the love bangle and that's kind of the space you can see that I have and it just basically goes up to there and it doesn't flop onto my hand which is how it's supposed to be I choose to have some space I don't want it completely tight on my wrist so again that is what the bangle looks like close up there you go now if I bring it down I can actually turn it there we go and there you go I don't know if any of the scratches are going to focus but that's the shape it's not a round shape it's kind of an oval shape the bangle basically the shape of your wrist if you have any questions on the love bangle please leave them below and I will try and answer if I've missed anything out. There's not much more that I can say apart from, yes, it scratches. Yes, I love it. Yes, I would repurchase. Don't regret it for a minute. Quality absolutely there. And, um, you know, if you purchased that amount of gold, that same bracelet without the Cartier name on it, yes, it would be a lot cheaper. But then it's not Cartier. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, then I would love for you to join the gang and gang and subscribe. Just that button down there below, just the bell. Just give it a wee and you're subscribed. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!